Ah, we don't want the combo box, we want the form. So whenever option form loads, what we want to do is type um, dim my paint as new form one. And now what we want to do is we want to show it. So my paint dot show. Now we need to be able to access my paint outside of just this one sub. So we'll cut this right here and we'll put it up here um, in the class and we'll just make it private. So now we have my paint. So whenever this loads, it'll say my paint dot show. So for case zero, um, which is the index of zero, which would be um, small, what we want to do is we want to um, change the size to small. So we can do my paint dot and let's come back into our form one dot VB. Now you can see here we don't have any methods. So what we need to do is we'll type public sub set size. And let's just have it take an argument of an integer. Bival size as integer. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to set the size of the graphics in our paint canvas. So paint canvas one dot and we need to find the size. So here is graphic size. And let's come in here into paint canvas and you can see that we have an enumeration. So small is going to be equal to five. Uh, medium is equal to 10 and large is equal to 25. So we need to come back into form one and we need to create an if statement. So if size equals zero, then what do we want to do? We want to set the size. So we'll cut this right here and we want to set the graphic size equal to graphics <coughs> sizes paint canvas dot graphic sizes dot small so this allows us to access the enumerations that are inside of paint canvas so now let's create some else ifs so else if size is equal to one then paint canvas one dot graphic size and make sure you're accessing the variable that has a blue square right here because that is our variable and this right here is our enumeration so paint canvas dot graphic size equals paint canvas dot graphic sizes dot medium and we'll make one last else if so else if size equals two then what do we want to do well let's just go ahead and copy this and we'll set it equal to large okay so now that we have our set size uh, method created let's come back here into option form dot vb and what we want to do is say my paint dot set size and it's going to take an argument which is size as integer and we'll just pass it combo box size dot selected index. Now we can do this for each one of the cases. So case one and case two. Now we could have used a select case in here, um, but an if statement will work just as, as well. So for case one, my paint dot set size. And I just realized something. We don't even need this select case statement. We can just do my paint dot set size and combo box size dot selected index. Okay, so whenever they change the size, um, it's going to call my paint dot set size at the selected index. And you can see here that if it's the index is zero, then it's going to set it to small, medium, and large. Um, and those index indexes match up um, with the indexes with the names in our combo box. So I'm running out of time here. So let's just run our program. You can see here we've got paint vb 
and we can start painting and it gives us, I believe this is large, maybe medium, but we can set the brush size to small and you can see we start drawing small. We can also set it to medium and we start drawing medium circles. And then if we set it to large, we start drawing large circles. And we can just change this to whatever we want. So go ahead, put this code in if you haven't already. Um, and we're going to continue working on this in the next tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, sorry about that little mess up with the select case statement, um, when all we have to do is just call this one method. So stay tuned for the next tutorial.